Hi guys, it's Adam. Yeah, Farms. I just wanted to show you guys some of the animals that we have. <coughs> we are just new to YouTubing and wanted to introduce ourselves. Um, we have a bunch of animals that we got from Lollipop Farm, which is a humane society out here in Rochester, New York. So we would just like to go around show you guys what we have what we do uh, it's kind of hard to show right now everything that we do um, it is winter we don't have a lot of winter animals um, we're not doing chickens we're not doing turkeys um, for butchering we have egg layers but let me just uh, go and I will show you guys around here we have two pot bellies that we got from Lollipop Sweetie and Lulu. Over here we have Bernice. She is a Norwegian dwarf. Her daughter Holly. These two we are going to breed. They did not come from Lollipop. We got them from somebody else. We have a couple of our turkeys. Two Toms. The black Tom is a black Spanish. We have a bourbon red. We have a malted black Spanish hen and a loud one. She, I'm not 100% sure what she is. If you guys have an idea, feel free to uh, leave a comment and uh, I'd be interested to see what you guys think. We have Cece. She is a bored goat from Lollipop. She has special needs. Her toes her hooves grow so fast that we are probably once every other week doing all of her hooves the reason why she's walking on her on her knees is the guy that had her before us um could not do it he was 70 years old could not handle doing them so she just had to learn how to walk on her knees we have Josie, which is a small black pot belly pig. Jasmine. All right, guys. Now, we are going into our chicken coop. Right now, we have most of our girls in here. We're lacking a couple of them. We're still trying to catch them. They were, yeah, they were free range. We're trying to stop that, try to put them in here for the winter so we can collect eggs. We're kind of getting sick of doing an easter egg hunt every day um so i'll show you a few of these guys we got a mixture of hens a little bit of everything the only the eggs that we get are mostly brown Oh, you got one laying. You anything under here? Under your head? Under here? Under here? Under here? Under here? Oh, we got one, guys. Anything else? No? All right. So we got, let's see, two. Oh, we're doing pretty good here. Come winter. We are, let's see, we got another hen we can look under here in a second. Let's see. Do you have anything there? Oh, look at that. Two more. Oh, put them there for safekeepings. So, again, some more chickens on this side. This is their run looking from inside the coop. We just have some netting. And dog kennels right here. Go outside when they want to. When they come in, we got food and we got water. As you can see, we got some uh, just heated water bowls, heated dog bowls. Even with them, the barn stays pretty warm with them. We use a deep litter method. Um, I'll explain that. Uh, basically, chickens come in here, they poop. 
We add more litter on top of it. We keep adding the litter on top of it. It'll heat up, keeps them warm. At the end of the season, we will, or beginning of spring, we will clean out the whole barn and add more straw, saw, um, more straw down for them. Uh, and it usually does pretty good. And then we'll take this straw we have in here and then we compost it. Uh, we let it sit for about a year or so and then we use it for our gardens. So I'm in one of our sows. She just, she gave birth a few weeks ago. Well, um, last week. <clears throat> so she had 15. We have 11 right now. Um, we have a, let's just try to we have a, right here, it's a whelping box. All we did is took a pallet, some boards, a piece of tin on top. There's two heat lamps in there. So the pigs stay in there nice and warm. They come out, as you can see, they're coming out here. Now it's feeding time. Now it's feeding time, so they're all coming out. We got a couple of them coming out now. They may have just eaten, I don't know, she may be... Alright, we are outside, we have some more animals out here, we have some geese, we got 11 geese from Lollipop, there are predator controls, a couple cows, we got a steer, and a heifer. They are going to butcher here in a couple in about a month. We have Oreo. He came from Lollipop as a rescue. We have Oatmeal, which is his which is Oreo's brother, came from Lollipop as a rescue. And then let's see. Let's keep walking down. We got one more rescue out here down at the end of the pasture. We uh, dumped some food out last night. Tried making a video of that, that didn't work. So I will make another video to show you show you guys how we um, we feed out. Here is Toby. Toby came from Lollipop as well. He is a pure cooney cooney. He, I believe, is five, four or five years old. All right, let me go and show you guys a few more animals we have. We have a boar and a sow. And one of these guys over here is going to butcher in a couple weeks. He is going to be filling our freezer and going in the freezer can. We have... One off to the right here, the darker one, that's our butcher pig. We have Cooney Cooney Cross, Red. Well, she's more dark, but she, she, her name is Red. And we have Mac, which is our boar. Alright guys, we are going to feed piglets and a couple of our goats, a couple more of our goats that we have. <coughs> Piglets were born the Sunday. End of August. They were born the end of August. I will show you guys them. I don't know if any of them are in here. Let's wait and see.
So we just got done feeding the piglets. These guys will be going in May and two in June to the USDA butcher. Um, New York State says <coughs> uh, you have to go to a butcher shop, USDA inspected butcher shop, if you want to sell cuts out of your house, out of the farm, or go to farmers markets. Um, we can sell half and holes. We sell a lot of half and holes, but we do take two to four a year to the USDA butcher shop and get cuts, so we can sell them out out of the farm. We haven't started doing farm markets or farm markets yet. That is something we are looking into. Um, I don't know if it'll be this year, but maybe next year. But uh, again, I just want to show you guys some of the pigs. I don't know why they decided to eat out of one bowl versus there's a whole other bowl sitting over here for them to eat out of. Well, guys, that's the end of this video. It's, uh, I just wanted to introduce ourselves, show you guys what we do around here, what we have going on. <clears throat> we will be doing more. I have some projects and stuff in mind. Um, and I plan on talking about um, more about the public market. Uh, you may even go talk to a couple of people from the public market. Put that on a put that on a video at some point. I'm not sure yet. We're still trying to figure this out. Like I said, we're still new. Um, so hoping to do one a week and maybe more like one every other week till we get our feet um, settled in on this and figure it out. But I don't. We don't have a time or a date or anything yet. If you guys would please hit the subscribe button, like us, it'd be appreciated. Thank you. Bye.